nice little package. One of uh, Stop Buying So Many Dream Kits. We're gonna try a different. So excited! Oh, yep. Yeah. Pretty good. New Type is a fast and reliable source of gunpla, paints, and tools shipped internationally. Purchasing with my affiliate link, newtype.us slash Snow, also helps support me with a small commission. Hey everyone! We bought a few things this month, kits, tools, and paints, and I'm going to share them all with you today. We're going to start off first with the SAB Panel Liners. They are a new product made in Korea fresh off the press. They are a sponsored product. I did get them for free directly from the company Sama Wangu, but I was not paid to review it. I did get gifted a kit along with the liners just to say thank you for reviewing the kit. That's it. All of my sponsored reviews will be my honest opinion and experience. So let's check them out. Got our panel liners. Ooh. Nicely packaged. Oh my gosh. So here are all the sizes. I did get the 0.1 and 0.2 with the first batch of production and that's why these don't have the stickers on them because the other ones were sold out pretty much right after they were released. If you can only afford one liner, the 0.2 is your typical go-to for all SD, HG, MG, PG and you'll get that standard panel line width. I do personally prefer thinner panel lines, so for even an MG, I would grab a 0.15. Uh, Cookie did use up to a 0.3 on his large-scale resin, for example, the uh, new Gundam bust. It's really kind of a stylistic thing, and I'm going to show you size samples and where you would use all these sizes when I do a proper review video. The 0.1, 0.15, and 0.2 are much finer tipped, and a bit more expensive than the other sizes. The tips are literally made by hand. How stereotypical, but by an old man in a factory. That's what the owner told me. So they're not easily mass produced. They pretty much sold out right when they were released in Korea. That's why I had to wait a month for the second batch production. Just on first impression, these have a really good weight in the hands. They're very heavy duty and they don't feel cheap at all. They're a little bit bigger than other panel liners, which could be good if you're a guy and you have bigger hands and this will sit on your hand pretty well and have a bit of leverage here. Most liners have sticker labels for the size and brand which can fall off with time and that has happened to us and then you don't know what size the liner is but this is engraved which goes to show the craftsmanship invested in these liners. Also, they will fit inside a BMC holder. So if you don't have any holders, these shrink tubes are so you can get some grip. And some people like to use the liner themselves without a holder, so they have more control, but they might find that there isn't enough grip. And you can use the whole tube or just a part of it. And of course, this is a shrink tube, so you can just put some fire under it and this tube will shrink and form to the shape of the liner, so that's a great little bonus. I'm going to test them out when I do my review video, but Cookie has already tried them out and he literally came to me and said, what the heck, they're better than BMC. So I will show you when I do the review later on and you can just see for yourself. Usually you guys always ask me, where can I buy what you've got? And unfortunately, I always had to tell you it's only in Korea, but guess what? This time, I'm really happy to tell you guys that these are going to be available in the U.S. through New Type. A lot of people have asked where they can get it since I've posted pictures on Instagram. New Type does ship internationally, so you can order from outside the U.S. as well. I recommend you don't wait too long to pick them up because with the pandemic, it's been really hard to buy BMC chisels from Japan. And if you do pick up a few of these, remembering to use my affiliate link, newtype.us slash frostesnow will also be a big help. This is a kit I was gifted from Sama Wangu. It is just a gift. I don't have to do anything in particular with it. Thank you so much. He's just a really generous guy. So I'm actually quite a fan of Iron Blood Orphans. I wanted to make it with the Key Bandai 1 to 6 form expansion kit. I haven't been able to get my hands on that yet. Cookie is looking for me. Once I get that, I'm going to start up this kit. I want to see if I can actually paint it in all of the different forms, which is probably 
gonna be challenging because it means I'm gonna have to switch the parts out after I paint it. The paint can scratch maybe, but I'm really hoping I can display it in a video with all of the different forms. I know I'm supposed to do the SD camper, but kind of not feeling it now. So I'm just hoping you guys will forgive me. I know we voted that we're going to do that. But the next time I do a SD resin kit, I'm going to do the camper for sure. Because right now I'm just kind of feeling creatively something else. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, kai, kai. Kai, kai. This is a dish stem. Yeah. Theo. It is very big size kit. You look so happy. Yeah, happy. My dream kit. What dream kit? Every kit is your dream kit. Yeah, Stop okay. buying so many dream kits. Uh, Every kit is your dream kit. Do you have a kit that's not your dream kit? Yeah, okay. I don't think so. Look at the... Oh! Oh! Dio Scott. 172 G system and you see it's got the official sticker here so it is an official product. Cookie bought it off of a second-hand market exchange Korean website that he always buys off of. People always ask for the site but it's just for Koreans. I'm a really big fan of the Dio so even though this is quite an expensive kit I just agreed with Cookie to buy it. I mean, Cookie obviously has a gunpla addiction. This probably isn't something that Cookie is going to paint anytime soon. These are the hands. Even though this is the official G system decal, they're always a little bit lower in quality. They are also a, just a little bit thinner. I really like how these kits give you like a postcard. Whenever you're checking resin kits, you can take a look at their details, especially their circles. These look pretty good. You can also check these crevices. It does have a little bit of that gunk or speck inside, but not severely. And the reason why that's important is you can't really sand inside of these crevices or you lose the details. They're big, but they're pretty thin and pretty light. Gotta be careful, there's a few pieces that are just falling out. I don't want to get in trouble with Cookie later. Oh, the skirt are like the size of my hands. Part of the gun. Other parts of the gun. This is huge. This is the uh, G-System frame. Ooh, manual here. The inner frame is made of plastic, so it's even more lightweight. Cookie said he's actually not necessarily a super huge fan of this. It's a little bit harder to paint it all in one piece. Oh my gosh, look at what happened here. What a mess. This is a resin pile. Unboxing this kit was like a workout. All right, let's get that cleaned up. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my very first and newest patrons. Patreon is a way for anyone to support their favorite creator and content. Your support allows me to spend more time to build, paint, and produce videos while not having to worry about making a living at the same time. Many thanks to Whammo, Jay Ward, Tom Weston, Lim Jordan, Junjie Tu, Courtney Jacobs, Gavin, Andrew McIntyre, Christopher Bernique, Jose Villegas, Brian Weems, Hangar, Tanya Padilla, Baka Duo, Chris Regas, Anthony Aiello, Chang Nguyen, Underground Aesthetic, Protagonist, Charles Martino, Benny Weber, JC, Sergeant Munter, Tejun Cho, Jose A. Garcia, and Shadow Goof. Thank you so much for your support. So Cookie bought a bunch of paints for his new Gundam. We're gonna try a different brand. It's a cheaper brand. Wow, they gave us some chocolate too. A lot of paint sellers and gunpla shops give free bottles. Cables to change out for um, like Zaku and Goof MG kits. 
level thinner. This is the uh, more modeling. It's called Momo. Oh, surfacer matte coat. We haven't used this before. It's quite a cheaper brand, but hopefully it'll be nice. Red gold. That's usually really expensive if you buy the IPP one. A lot of perfect whites. I think they should have named it perfect gray. Some more metallics. Let you know how it goes. from Gundam Boom, which is a shop that I'm not familiar with, but it had a Christmas coupon. I got it pretty darn cheap. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be my next build. I've actually been wanting to do this for a really long time. I've had the idea in my head. I can tell you that it's gonna be um, quite a bit different from what I normally paint. You know, I always like to do kind of try out different things because I get kind of bored doing the same paint job. Um, I have a really special story about this actually is there was a time when I had kind of fallen out of Gunpla. I think for like six months or a year, I wasn't really looking at Gunpla or painting it. But then one day I just passed by a Gunpla store and this kit was just released at that time in the HG size before the MG was out. And I just thought it just looked so good. And, and I hardly ever feel that way about HGs. I think these newer um, HGs are quite nice. Even the spikes and the thrusters, they are colored separately. They're not stickers. I love the backpack. Um, I think the MG version, the backpack is just so big and ugly. Korean people call this part on the MG, they call it a water bottle because it's like literally the size of a water bottle on an MG, but I think this um, HG size is so much more manageable. And I'm saying this as someone who just really doesn't build very many HGs just because they look a lot more toy-like to me. I, I just love the MGs. As I said, this is gonna be my next build. It's so exciting to open a new kit. I'm so happy to do this with you together on camera. Eee! This is a really meaningful kit to me. You know, it was, like I said, what got me back into Gunpla after a kind of unexpected hiatus. And just look at this box art, it's so cool. And I did watch the anime and I quite enjoyed it. Tell you another funny story is Cookie couldn't watch this whole anime. Uh, I don't wanna have any spoilers, but he just thought what happened to the main character, it just broke his heart too much. He can't see kids like being harmed. So he didn't watch the whole anime. Funny, huh? He's such a... He's such a sweetie. Hi, Sharon. Hey. First snow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where's going? We are. Where's going? They are coming Korea again. Again. We're okay. Gonna pick up some check out some paints for weathering. Oh, uh, okay, okay. After we did some clothing shopping for cookie. Oh. oh, very old man. Cookie says this is too big, but I think it looks really nice. <laughs> Jeron, go to shopping. This is my Insta time. Okay. Can we just get some clothing shopping for Cookie because he needs some new clothes for work. Okay, let's go. Clean like horrible. 뭐, 뭐 써야 되는지 그냥 회색. 음. 그럼 뭐 알아서 쇼를 하고 싶은 대로 하면 되지. 응. 데스가드용으로 녹색 아, 하나. 샀지, 샀지. 하나 샀어. 여기 없어? Oh, you gonna get that one, Cookie? Mm -hmm. This is Sharon's style. Oh, this is Sharon's. This, this is, is my style. yours. Your style. Yeah, this is my style. Your style. Okay. What paint are you getting? Mm -hmm. This is Surface Primer Vallejo. Okay. Vallejo wash. This is Sharon Paint. Okay. Ah, MAK do. Yeah, MAK I can. MAK can I see? This is the size of the size. Look, Cookie's talking on the phone while he's supposed to be drinking coffee with me. 